Hi, my name is Rebecca, and today I'm going to show you how to import a LiDAR point cloud into Civil 3D and turn it into a 3D surface. Uh, we're going to be using a few different software tools today, including Equator to find the point cloud, Autodesk Recap to convert the point cloud, and Autodesk Civil 3D to create the 3D surface. Okay, so starting in Equator. Basically, Equator is online mapping software that allows you to source public LiDAR point clouds to the best available accuracy. Uh, we are gonna go into Equator now to find some point cloud data to work with. So I am searching for Vista Verda uh, that is in New Mexico. I picked this spot because I just found some really cool looking topography there that I thought would look awesome in a 3D surface. So we're going to work on extracting this area here. So I'm switching to the topography menu. I'm selecting USGS for the LiDAR source. And now I'm going to open up the export menu. And what I'm going to do is select point cloud, specifically ground only points. So I'm only going to get the points from the ground. Uh, hit yes. And basically what's going to happen now is that an email will be sent to me with my data for download. All right, so now we're moving over to Autodesk Recap. We're going to take that LAS file that I downloaded from Equator software and we are going to convert it into a format that can be used in Civil 3D. So first I am going to open up a new project and click on Import Point Cloud. Give my project a name. All right, just call it LiDAR Test and proceed. Choose a location for it. Great. All right, now I am going to select a file to import. So uh, once I received the file from Equator in my email, I just downloaded it uh, to my downloads folder. I've now selected it and I am importing it into Recap. Once I hit import, it's probably going to take a few minutes. I've sped it up here just for sake of time on the video. Uh, once it imports, I'm hitting index and then finally launch. And here is my point cloud. It does not look so great with just the all black points. I'm sure there's a way to adjust intensity so it actually looks good. But for now, I don't really care about that. I really just want to export it so that I can use it in Civil 3D. Um, so I've just hit e export. And uh, let's go, let's see here. All right, so my data has now been converted into a .rcs file and it's ready for import into Autodesk Civil 3D where I'm actually gonna build my 3D surface. Okay, so to start, we're gonna open up Civil 3D and we are going to open up the insert menu. About halfway along, there's this button called Attach Point Cloud, and we're basically just going to navigate to the location of our RCS file. Uh, make sure that Specify on screen is unchecked, so it will place the point cloud in the actual location. Uh, you can see the point cloud has now been inserted, and I am changing the level of detail. So you can see all of the beautiful black points in here. So now I'm going to select create surface from point cloud. I'm just going to pick one of these random defaults because I don't care too much how it looks. Um, navigate into this last section here and, and select no filter. We're lucky enough to be able to just export the ground point. So uh, we'll be good on that. We don't need to filter for only ground and run the program to create the surface. This actually took a lot of time and my computer crashed, but I've sped it up for you. Uh, and here it is. So you can see it's created contours. The points are still there. Let me turn down the level of detail so it's easier to see the contours. Um, and as I zoom in, you can actually see the level of the detail on the contours increase. I wish I could change it so that I always saw these one meter contours as they were, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So maybe that's uh, for the next video. But yeah, it looks great. Brought the points in, have my surface, and I'm ready to start designing. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more.